Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at string handling program in Java. Now question says, write a program to accept a word, convert it into lower case if it is in upper case. Display the new word by replacing only the vowels with the letter following it. Means O will be replaced with P, U will be replaced with V, E will be replaced with F. In short, we have to replace the vowels with the letters which are following it. Okay, so let's begin. We know the basic prototype of Java program. Now I will declare one string, string A, to take the input from the user. Now I'll ask user system dot out dot print ln. Enter the string, or we can enter the word. Now what's my job? First task is what? First we will take the string s dot next. Okay, I took the word from the user. After taking the word, my job is to convert it into lower case. So I'll write to lower case. I converted it into lower case. Now after that, what we have to do? We have to run the for loop. So I'll write int i. I'll declare care c h and one more character new ch and ch why we are doing this we will come to know wait okay so let's begin the for loop why are we using the for loop to extract the character from the string so i is equal to zero we know in all string based question the for loop remains same for extracting the characters you have to remember this for loop we have to start from zero we have to go till length and i plus plus in this, I'll do what? CH is equal to what? From where will we extract? From A. Caret. I. I am extracting one by one, one by one character in which variable? In the variable CH. Okay. Now, if CH is equal to equal to A or CH is equal to equal to E, we have to check if it is vowel, then we have to do the further steps okay so a e i o or c h is equal to equal to u now what am i doing if it is then what am i supposed to do if i encounter a vowel suppose after c if i encounter o i have to replace o with what o with P, yes, the next character. So, new CH will be what? New CH will be what? We have to write CH plus 1. That is whatever character is extracted. We have to add the 1 in it. So, that ASCII value will be changed and we will do typecasting. We will convert it into character and then CH will store the following character of vowel right the character which is following the vowel current vowel its next character will be stored in nch what does it mean let's have a look again if it is u okay if character extracted is what u so ascii value of u in that we will add one right and again it will be converted into care so here what will we get we will get v and we have to join it in new string. So we have to store the answer in string ans. We will declare one string which is empty in the beginning. And I will write what? Answer is equal to answer plus new ch. Okay. Else what? If it is not vowel. If it is not vowel. Then rest of the characters we have to join. We have to combine as it is. So answer is equal to answer plus ch. When are we adding new ch? When vowel encounters. Whenever vowel encounters, we have to just add the next character in the string. So resultant string is answer. Okay. For loop is over. After for loop, what will I do? I'll simply print the new word system dot out dot print ln. Where did I store it? in the answer okay the program is done this is very simple program guys now let us run 
Before that, we will comment the question. Now, we will run it. The program is compiled successfully. Now, we will run. Suppose, I am entering the word, simple word I am doing. Sam. Do we have any vowel here? Yes, we have. Right? So, what will happen? A will be replaced with B. Simple. Again, if I run, what will happen? What is the ASCII value of A? Guys, what is the ASCII value of A? ASCII value of small a is 65. Then what process we did? We added 1 in it. That is 65 plus 1. That is 66. And then I converted it into implicit, sorry, explicit type casting. So 66 character corresponding to 66 we are calculating and that is nothing but B. This is what we did where in the program. Let us run it again. Okay. The expected result we are getting. Fine. Now let's see the program. We extracted the character. If it is vowel do plus 1. If we do plus 1 in ch, ASCII value will be updated by 1. Automatically ASCII value of ch will be considered. It will do plus 1 in it. Then we converted into respective character and stored it in new character. Now answer is equal to answer plus new character. If it is not vowel, then we will simply add the character. Okay. Whenever vowel comes, update it by next character. And if it is not vowel, if it is consonant, then simply join it. After for loop, we have to print it. Okay. Thank you.